Hey, what's going on my YouTube family? And as always, a shout out to my friends of Bill and my crypto army. How you doing? Uh, yeah, so, uh, yes, this is a, a video about making an American flag. There's a whole bunch of them out there. But this is mine, my version. Call it Adventures Way. Alright, so, I made a few of them. I didn't make videos of them before. But... I was making 24 inch flags something like those up there which I bought from someone online beautiful they came out nice but not for nothing but the ones I've been making I think are coming out a lot better all right so this is some of the some of the process of making an American flag. See, this is the bigger flag. I'm making this for one of my friends. This is a 28 inch American flag. But, because I hate to put on my glasses, I can't see, or I thought I saw, and I measured wrong, or I forgot the measurements. It should have been at an inch and a half. I cut this, I believe, at an inch and a quarter. So, when I lined up my union, this is a, I believe it's a, it's like 12 and a half by nine. You see it, you see what it is. Well, it and. It didn't fit. It wasn't lining up in the in between in the seven stripes. So I was like, "Shit, what am I gonna do?" I just cut all this wood in the warehouse. I sanded it. Nice. Everything's going good. So I get here, and it doesn't line up. I'm like, "Shit, what am I gonna do now?" So thank God I got these beautiful wooden templates when I ordered them. I also got the uh, PVC version or plastic, whatever that may be. They came with these wooden stars. So I was like, wow, beautiful. I think I could do it. So now I'm individually placing the, Ameri the stars on the Union. Talk about homemade, this is homemade. And I'm just lining them up. It's going to take me a little longer, but it's not wasted time. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just lining all the stars up, as you can see. So I figure I'd make a quick video of if you're making an American flag and you get the measurements wrong. And if you have the wooden or individual stars, you could... You could correct it. You don't waste all that, all that time you put in on making this uh, star, uh, making this flag. Sorry. So that's what it is right now. I'm gonna continue. I'll get a little video of when I'm torching them. I didn't want to get put on while I was cutting them and all that. It's a whole long procedure. And if you watch other videos of people making American flags, you've seen all that. Cut them on the table saw. Some people use a miter saw. I use a table saw. It's messy, noisy. So I started doing it in the warehouse. I used to do it over here at home. It's not in my storage unit, but now I do them in the warehouse, which is great. And I have everything over there. So, when I start torching them, I'll get a little video of that. So you can see a little bit more of the process. And uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks a lot, guys. Hopefully, uh, you're having a great Sunday. And this is what I do to keep myself busy. When I'm not doing other things like riding my bike. You know, just to keep it going. Keep the heart going and your mind focused on good things instead of negative things. All right, cool, guys. I'll see you. I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, what's up, guys? I'm back. Yeah, I just wanted to show you 
how pain in the ass this is. So if you could get your measurements right. All right, so now I gotta get the 50 stars in between the the seven stripes for the union. So now I gotta individually line them up. It's a pain, pain in the butt. No, it's not gonna come out perfect. But at least uh, you don't waste all that time. I'll keep my fingers crossed. I'm a perfectionist, so this bothers me. We'll see. I just wanted to show you that. I still got to play with this a little bit. Yeah, if you could get your measurements right. Like they say, double measure, triple measure, and I wouldn't have to be going through this. Something that should take uh, a few minutes is going to take me. It's going to take me some good time. All right, guys, I'll be back. Hey guys, all right, cool. So I'm making a little pro progress. Uh, tell me what you think. How does it look? Cool. All right, I think I could make this work. This is great. All right, so you see, this is just the beginning. Not even the beginning. This is like a quarter of a way. I always make my stripes a little longer because, and some of the other flags that I made, they weren't lining up perfect. So I give that a little extra, and then I could always go back and cut that off. But yeah, this is great. So now I'm gonna line this up, mark it. And the uh, great thing about that, I got to do it all over again. Get your measurements right. Don't be a knucklehead like me. Wear your glasses. Or double measure, triple measure, write it down. This really sucks. But it's all good. Nothing's perfect. So America's not perfect. We're not perfect. We just keep moving on. All right, guys. Thanks. All right, guys, so this is uh, another step uh, for lining up the union. All right, so I measured it all out. You see, I made my marks. I marked them all out. You see that razor blade? I saw this on other channels, which it's excellent. The best way to, like this, to paint. You could do one color on one side and then the blue on the other side and you don't get that runnage of the paint and the stain. Yeah, so let me bang one in and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how it goes. All right, cool. Let me see where I could put this thing. Bear with me guys, bear with me, all right? All right. Where could I put you? Hopefully. You know what? It's not easy. The YouTube stuff is not, not easy. It's like a job. All right, one minute. I'm going to take this and I'm going to bang it in there. All right, give me one minute because I only have two hands. All right, guys, take it easy. All right, take it easy. So I take that and I take this guy. Line it up. I got my glasses on. Nice and lined up. So maybe I think this is like one of the best ways that I saw on other videos. You do that, 
and you don't get all the runners from the stain from the stain going from one side to the other. Really works great. Follow him if you're not already. Good channel. This is my problem. See, these things been burning my eyes since last night. My wife bought them. And I got the good guy on one shoulder and the bad guy on the other shoulder. And uh, I'm not doing it. I'm going to do this instead. One day at a time. But this kicks my ass, especially with the diabetes. So, no more. I'm starting this year off right. All right, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Let me move on. This is taking me way longer than I thought. One. All right, guys. So, this is the torching part of it. All right. I normally don't put the blade on. I normally torch it first and then I put the blade, the blade before I stain. All right. Cool. Let me torch one. This is cool the way it comes out. I always like this part. You run it back and forth. You get the nice little burn mark. But normally I don't do this with the blade on. I'm just doing this because, like I said before, my measurements were wrong and my union didn't line up right. So I've got to do it all individual now. Just more work, pain in the ass, but I'm doing it. Let me just do one more, and then I'll show you more later. See how nice that looks? I, I like the way the burn effect. So nice. See that? normally put the blade on after. Looks all good. I can still make it work. You see how you get the burn marks on there nice? If you want it darker, you just leave it on longer. I don't want it that dark. I just want to get those nice imprints. Alright guys, so I'll check back you in a little bit. Thank you. All right, guys, so here we go. I'm going to start staining it. I have everything laid out. I got the blue for the union. I got the red, the white. It's a little tight. I'm doing this in the my living room. My wife, I'm sure, hates when I do this. But I don't have a fancy workshop like all you guys out there. So I make it work. All right, so I'm going to start staining this. I do it with a rag. Here goes the blue. I wipe it on. You, know, you gotta get enough on there. See, I do the, I got the blue on there. Wipe it on. Making a mess. I should have put something underneath this, but I'm Russian. I keep forgetting I'm Puerto Rican. I'm not Russian, but it's all good. I'll clean that up later. As long as I don't get it on my wooden floors, I'll be all right. I should be wearing gloves. All right, so these are all the things that you shouldn't do. You know what I mean, learn from this. You shouldn't be doing it in your living room. You shouldn't be making a mess like this. I should have all this covered underneath. But like I said, I'm rushing again. I shouldn't be rushing through this. I should be taking my time. But whatever. Here we go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, baby. I'm doing it. Clean it up later. So I put it on. I put it on. Alright, the 
just to blow I leave that there let that dry a little bit then I go over it and I wipe it make it a mess here which is really horrible I should really protect this all right guys that's what you shouldn't do I'm gonna I'm gonna protect this a little bit I'll be back Give it a nice little wipe down. Got the sides. This is like my third coat. I think that's enough with this. Nice. Nice red. Wipe the sides. Red, put that down. Oh, you know what? Let me get these. Oh, there you go. I'm rushing again. I normally take my time doing this and I make it nice and neat, nice, clean workspace. But today I'm rushing. You know what, this video will be of what not to do when making an American flag. Definitely don't rush. Make sure you have a nice clean workspace. I'm sure everything else Sorry about that. I keep showing you my nice Adidas slippers. And everything else will go cool. Don't rush. Take your time. Get the sides. Do a nice wipe. Touch all the stripes. A different color. Because then you gotta go back and take care of that. And then just wasted more time again. That's like what I'm doing today, wasting a lot of a lot of time and going back to correct everything. Alright, really cool. So that's what you do. You wipe them down. I'm still gonna give the union another coat maybe two more cool all right guys sides a little the sides a little Oh, let 
that dry a little I'll wipe it down all right guys yeah so I'm moving along but you know what I'm making some mess yeah so just remember guys take your time take your time and if uh, you have better working conditions do that don't do it in your little room like I do I'm just a little nuts but it's all good still coming out pretty nice just messy look at look at this mess I mean it's lucky I don't get it on my floor my rug I'm just very this is very unorganized and definitely not the way to do it so take your time guys take your time prep your working area and don't rush and everything should turn out all right it's coming out all right everything's coming out all right but just a little a little a lot a lot messy the best part's going to be my union because the stars are always the hardest part so across my fingers and hopefully all goes well cool guys moving along all right guys how you doing all right so I'm uh I'm starting to put the flag together. A lot of people, plus myself, use this. It's great. A little messy, but and it comes through the seams. So um, I just started doing this, which I think it's a lot easier. I'm nailing them individually. And so far, it's coming out good. I like the glue, but I think this is, for me anyway, I, think I like it a little better. going to be the union because I measured wrong like I said before it should have been an inch and a quarter I think I said an inch and a half before 
if you're building a 28 inch flag it should be an inch and a quarter I cut it at an inch uh, I, I, cut, I cut it at a sixteenth one sixteenth which was wrong so I made this I rigged this uh, union up I taped it up so a little I'm, I'm going to do one stripe at a time and hopefully it works out all right so so far it looks all right it came came out a little bit right there I don't know if you guys can see it but the brown there just came out a little bit but I think when I put the gloss on it, it should be all right and they have longer the stripes I made them longer but a lot of times when I'm putting them together it doesn't line up right so I just cut it straight down and this one would be 28 inch or 28 and a half whatever I want to do you have options all right guys cool I'm moving on there you go guys almost there the moment of truth now the union hopefully I can make that work somehow keep your fingers crossed Oof. longer than I expected way longer than I expected all right guys almost there cross your fingers all right the first the first one came out all right hopefully it continues that way all right so this is everything I gotta do hopefully hopefully they're gonna line up all right you saw I made the first strike this is just trying to uh, match them up. Hopefully you all goes well. All right, stay with me. Let's see how this comes out. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it off now. I should let it dry, but I'm impatient. All right, let's do. Let's see. All right. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Easy. I got these Allen. I put the Allen key on there to hold the weight down like this. Oh yeah, I think. I think this might. I think this might be working. Woo! Keep your fingers crossed. All right, almost there, guys. Still at it. Don't like it. That's why you gotta get your measurements right. So now I gotta paint it all black, spray paint it black, and then on top of that, I'll hit it with the blue again, and then do it all over again. All right, guys. All right. So that's. Uh, just about finished. I'm into the next day. Uh, all right, that's what it came out to be. The union didn't come out perfect, but it's close to it. Not bad. I kind of like the the way it looks with the longest stripes but I'm gonna cut that down probably to 28 inches maybe get a little more but yeah that's it alright guys make sure you get your measurements right if not it becomes a nightmare thanks guys God bless God bless America